Seven keys to double your profits. Hello and welcome to the Mark on Marketing Show. I'm your host, Mark Weisenberger. I am a disruptive marketer and a three-time number one best-selling author. Today we are going to move on to key number four to double your profits. Now, all of these keys are interwoven and work together, and there's certain ones you have to do in order to do other ones, and the one we're going to talk about today, you need to do this one in order to do virtually any of the others. And it's a simple concept, but no business does it. Well, not no business, but I dare say 98, 99% of small businesses do not do it, and even and bigger companies are even um, worse at it. But it's just the simple concept of staying in touch. Staying in touch with you, those individuals that have come in and done business for you. So many business owners spend all their time, money, and energy on bringing that new client and customer patient in through the door and then it's just like whoo I am done I got that and then they scratch their head and wonder why that individual never comes back and buys again they've come into your place of business they've bought your product or service so we know that they know like and trust you but there is too much competition out there both in the physical world and then in the virtual world anything that you do can be done online so you have to add value you have to make that person come back into your business to buy from you again You've already invested all the money to bring them in, which is the hard part. Let's invest a little money to keep them coming in, to keep them calling you. Just a couple small concepts. One is a simple newsletter. And I'm not talking about an email newsletter because open rates are like 10, 15% on email, maybe 20 if you're lucky and really good. I'm talking about a physical paper newsletter. I have a client, we do a newsletter once a month. He goes downtown and uh, he'll see his clients and they'll say, hey, I love the newsletter. I look forward to getting the recipe. I look forward to the uh, crossword puzzle. I look forward to the local events. See, it's not a newsletter selling him. It's not a newsletter talking about industry standards and jargon that no one cares about. It's something fun. There's a personal message from him each month and then some fun games, interesting things that individuals are curious about. And so they get that newsletter, it lays on their coffee table, the dining room table, whatever, for a week, two weeks. The neighbors come in, they see it on the table. But anyway, his customers are seeing it and they're engaged in that. And we know that because what they say when he accidentally runs into them downtown. Also, another option or another way to stay in touch is you've brought them in, educate them on new products and services that you are offering. It, did the ABC widget come in? Well, send them a letter. Create a video and email that to them. Educate them on the ABC widget. Uh, offer them a special offer. There's, you know, come in, hey, come on in, bring a friend, and we'll give you a free hors d'oeuvre, kind of like I talked about in the customer reactivation uh, series, or actually not that, but the cash flow series, I mean, cash flow surge campaign. I always get so mad when a company will run a promotion 
and they say for new clients only well what about me I'm an existing client customer I've been in I've given you money I don't get any bonuses recognition for that so do things exclusively for those individuals that have bought your product or service so simply stay in touch think of ways to stay in touch if you need some ideas on how to do that ideas that fit your business uh, let's start a conversation again I'm going to leave uh, two links in the description below so that you can get a hold of me on my Facebook Messenger or through my virtual business card and so stay tuned you're going to love key number five which we will discuss next time take care